Yeah, man. Just gonna pitch it right there. Check that out, guys. Great re green return right here. I made it out to the lake this morning. I came back to the lake where I came last week actually and they had some event and they had it shut down. I couldn't come out here. And uh, so I'm out here by myself. The lake's really down so I should be able to get further out. Hopefully I might find a ring or two. Um, I got another couple of lakes I'm going to do if I don't find anything here. So let's get out in the water. Let's see what we can find. Well, I got my first find out here. It's a necklace that's going to say Grace. It looks like it's all still there, all of it. So that's a good start. It's a, a stainless steel necklace. It was ringing up a real erratic anywhere from the low 40s to the mid 60s, just jumping all around. But I'll take that. That's pretty quiet. There's no money. There's no pull tabs. Uh, it's just, there's just not a lot out here right now. The season's kind of cut short because I think school started early and um, it got real hot. Nobody came out to the lakes and it's just not a lot out here anymore. So we're going to give it a couple hours, see what we come up with, and we'll move on to another lake and see what we get. All right, let's keep rolling. Well, I got a second target. I don't know what that is. It's got a clasp up here that it's like uh, hooking onto a necklace and then something went in there it's about three inches long huh if you guys know what that is comment i don't know what that is ringing up like a uh, like a penny like in the 70s i think it's some type of necklace i'm not really for sure give you a better picture of it there all right let's keep on going let's see what else we can get about shoulder deep water Well, I was getting a 46, 47, about waist deep water. And it's going to be a stainless steel ring with little fake diamonds all around it. But hey, that's a sign that maybe it hasn't been hunted. So uh, let's spend a little time out here at this new lake and let's see what we come up with. Let's keep on going. Well, I was getting a 53, which is pull tabs in this lake, and uh, I've been digging all the pull tabs and bottle caps anyway. And this is what you get. You get a uh, little star. I don't know if it's silver or not. It wasn't ringing up high tone, but I don't see any markings on the back, but it's too small for me to see. But hey, that's a ring and a piece of a necklace, so let's keep on going. I'm going to spend about another 30 minutes here, then I'm going to move on to another uh, lake. Well, I moved on to another lake. This is my third one, the one closest to my house. Found that ring and that little piece of necklace at the first one. Didn't find anything at the second one. Came down here, hit this one for just a little bit, and check this out. Preacher Digger done got him across. It's an episode. Yeah, it's ringing up like a 72, 74. I thought it was going to be a penny, but kind of a rhinestone cross. It's kind of got a U-shape to it. Check that out. All right, I tell you what, the lakes are just not a lot out here right now. Um, just uh, school has started and uh, no one's out and just finding what's left over. So let's keep on looking a little bit longer. 
Let's see what else we can get. All right, Preacher Digger got his cross. Hey, you must be Jason. Yes, sir. Nice uh, to meet I'm you. Michael. Yeah, it's pouring down rain. Yeah, that was a little unexpected. Well, I hope they can hear us on camera. I'm not sure. I got it yeah, recording right there. It's kind of loud. It's kind of loud <laughs> right now, you know. But so this is where you lost your ring, right out here. Yes, sir. It was. Was it? What, what year was that? Uh, it was actually the summer I graduated of 2014. 2014. Uh, me and a group of buddies had come out here to the lake, and we were playing football right there in the shallows. Yeah. I didn't think to take my ring off. I tossed the ball. That's how. Looked back, the ring was gone. Well, that's how many uh, rings are, you know, especially senior rings since they're right. so big and yeah. your fingers get wet and they're heavy and they just come right off, you know, it was gone. gone. So, what, how did you feel after that? I, it was just a sinking feeling. Like, oh man. I, I never expected to see it again. Well, I had found it a while back and um, there it is, man. Oh, wow. I cleaned it up too. Oh, it was, uh, it was all black. And uh, tarnished out pretty bad, I believe it. But it's it was been about uh, eight years, I guess. Now. Yeah, it's. Uh, but it, uh, I cleaned it up, and uh, it came out looking real good. And good thing you had your initials in there. Look at it, still fits. Wow, still fits. That's incredible. Check that out, guys. Great re ring return right here. Well, I got back out in the lake after doing that ring return and uh, got a 47-48 real jumpy signal and got a nice uh, arrowhead necklace. Check that out. All right, in the hunt for that ring though. Haven't got a ring yet. So let's keep on going, see if we can't find that ring. Well, I tell you what, these lakes here around East Texas, there's just no rings in them anymore. School started, no one's really swimming. I have gone to several lakes now. And all I found is what you've seen. And I've got one more spot here. There's a rope swing there behind me. And this is a spot that the teens usually swim and hang out. And so I'm gonna look through here. It's gonna be real trashy. This whole lake is real trashy. But I'm just about ready to hang up water season. I've got uh, one more trip I'm gonna make on Monday. I'll see you guys on Monday. I'm going down to central Louisiana and meet up with Bayou Diggs. And we're gonna have a rematch on our water bingo game and that's going to be a lot of fun but uh i'm going to get in here see what we can find if i don't find anything here i'm going to call it a day and then i'll see you guys on monday down in louisiana well i made it down here to louisiana and uh meeting up with mr bayou digs right there we got a lake here that we hit before and he hit all he hits all the time find some good stuff so maybe we're going to find some stuff we got two spots here so I hope it's better than the rest of my lakes. I had just been busting on everything. There's just nothing left in East Texas Lake. So thought about trying to come down here in Louisiana with Bayou and see if we can get anything. So prophesy for us, Bayou, what are we gonna get? Well, we're gonna dig a lot of trash, but yeah. some treasure. I can see it. I you sound like a true prophet. <laughs> <laughs> a true prophet. We're gonna get a lot of trash, that's for sure. So let's get in the water and let's see what we can get. Well, it's pouring down. I'm gonna step out a few minutes and let this go on past. Lightning's starting to get close to us. No ring's worth my life. So we'll see y'all in just a little bit. Bayou is calling. He got him something. He says an episode. Oh, it is an episode. Check it out. We got us across, man. We got us across. Good. Ringing up a 47? 47. Gonna be a stainless steel. Yeah. You're on the board, man. We're not skunked. <laughs> it's about time. It's about time, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, weather change, you called it. So we're gonna get a new, a new, uh, a new start here. Yeah. We're gonna start finding stuff start. now. Well, I got my first find out here. Not too far from where by you got that uh, chain. I got a Playboy bunny. What's <laughs> What's really strange is when I scooped it up, the lightning struck just probably a couple of miles away and, and thunder just right over top of it. it. scared me to death. So I don't know if I should keep this or throw it back in the lake. I don't know. Anyway, there's the first find. Let's keep on going. Bayou's calling me over. So he's got silver. Not too far where you found that chain, is it? Yeah, an eternity. It's got a red and blue stone in it. It says I love you here. Yeah. And it does say 925. Anything on the back? No, just the clasp says 925. So, well, 
that's two pieces of jewelry I know it. and i got one so we're in the shallow waters <laughs> so maybe that's what's going to do it for us let's keep going check it out creature digger then got him another cross it's bringing up at 27. i've got my at pro set at 25 i think and uh, i do that to try to get some of these thin chains and small jewelry like this who i'm wore out and uh well at least that's a, another piece of jewelry hardly any rings on this uh this video but uh i'll take this any day it's a triple episode now all right let's keep going well by you it's been a long day it's been a lot of fun being down here with you Thanks. and uh, oh. we came down here on this last lake and we were going to do a rematch because a couple of videos back we did the water detecting bingo and i ended up winning but we caught it even but i ended up winning that one and now we're, we did water bingo again and just at this swimming hole here and so let me show you what i got and what bayou got so here it is this is our water detecting bingo and you can see we by bayou made it and it's just got a bunch of different categories that you normally dig when you're in a water and so i didn't get a bingo neither did bayou but we just went with how many the items we found on here i ended up having 10 different items on here the vape pen the four quarters the pendant fishing lure the hoop ear ring the cross well actually 10 now i didn't forgot the cross we counted that as a bracelet the watch and uh, 49 cents pull tabs pull tabs and 10 bottle caps so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven i got 11 items all right did bayou digs get me well, I got the bracelet any style there with the stainless. I got 49 cents, 10 round pull tabs, cherry coke I used for my 10 bottle caps, which I did. I got a necklace pendant, a little silver deal, some fishing stuff in there, also a lead weight, one stud earring, just a junker, square pull tabs. I got three vape pens, four quarters, but no rings. So count that so up. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12 with a hole in so the 13. 13 with the cross. 13. So you, you beat me by uh, two this, the three this time. Well, it happens. All right. Here's all the other stuff we found. There's all the trash. And here's some of his coins in here. Uh, here's the rest of my, this is just out of this one swim area. And all my trash and hair things detect a uh, battery for a phone, a dollar coin. So we have a lot of fun. Uh, if you ever want a copy of these things, get with Bayou or get with me and we'll send you a copy of these. And uh, we won't even charge you for them. And go out there with your friends and uh, play some water detecting bingo. It's a lot of fun. You, you really, instead of just trying to be pressured just to find rings, and we didn't find a single ring at all. Uh, you just kind of get into the game and start playing the game a little bit and see who wins at the end. And we cleaned up the beach. A yeah, we cleaned up the beach. But yeah, he got a real nice bracelet. I think that's probably the find of the day. The nice uh, uh, stainless steel bracelet. I got a really cool watch. Check that out. Look at all the details in it. Really cool. And uh, of course, Preacher Digger gets the Playboy Bunny. <laughs> With the lightning. Hit yeah, the and the lightning time. struck at the same time. <laughs> that's a mess. So uh, we're going to call that a day, but I'm not going to make this a video yet. I'm going to head on out this Friday to another lake and uh, day after Labor Day and, and try to finish up this video and try to get some rings in there. So I'll see you guys out in the water on Friday. Say goodbye, bye you. Take care. Hey, we're on a new location this morning. I got with me a new guy, Hunter's with me today. Say hello, Hunter. Hey. And uh, this is his first time to do water detecting, so it's going to be an adventure for him. But we're up on my annual trip up at this secret location that hopefully we're going to get onto some good rings. He's going to be searching the beach. I've never done the beach, so I don't know if there's going to be a lot there. Maybe a lot. I don't know. But uh, we'll see what we can get. And if we get find something good, we'll show it to you. So let's get in the water. Oh, the thing about this location is the water is like 72 degrees. It's so cold. And it takes a while to get used to it. And it's just one of those things you just kind of got to jump in you know but it's just so frigid so i'm here it's good having hunter with me i'm gonna teach him a little bit water hunting and uh we'll go get in here let's see how cold it is 
Oh gosh, this is like detecting in May. It's so cold out of the water level. So let's do it. Let's just stuff it out and see what we can get. Well, I got my first signal. It's an 82, a lot of pull tabs I'm digging and, and a little bit of money, not a whole lot of signal. So, and uh, get 82, just gonna be a junker ring, just a stainless steel. Uh, I guess, I no, I think it's aluminum. Bringing up an 82, it's gonna be aluminum. It's just kind of a souvenir ring. But anyway, that's the first one. So maybe there's gonna be some more out here. So let's get, keep looking. Well, they got a real jumpy signal down in the 40s, really 30s, jumping around. And uh, I knew it was not going to be gold when I saw it. It's going to be stainless steel, but stainless steel bracelet, a gold stainless steel bracelet. Hey, I'll take that. I wish it was 14 karat, though. Had me, had me going there for a second when I first saw it in the mud. All right. Hey, I'm getting out in the deeper water, getting more targets now. So let's shoot for that gold ring. Let's go for it. Well, this is what you get when you run your sensitivity very high and you're digging all the targets. Uh, I was getting like a 46, 47, but very, very faint, very faint. And it's up being a, a cross. Preacher Digger got his cross. It's going to be a silver cross at that, but it's real tiny. It's just a piece of a chain. So, all right, let's keep looking for that other part of the chain and let's keep on looking for that gold ring. Well, Hunter's calling me over. He's got his first water ring. Let's go see what he's got. First one. First time. Oh, is that gold? Bring it up about 16 or 17. I can't tell if it's missing the center. Check that there. out. My no, bad. it's not going to be gold, but it's going to be. I don't know. Let me change hands right quick. Sure makes digging those pull tabs worth it. Oh, yeah. I don't see a marking in it, but it's got a little heart. And, uh, hey, that'll work. Yeah. That'll work, man. Congratulations. Thank got your you. first ring, man. First, first water one. detecting ever. Got his first ring right here in the shallow water. I left him from about waist deep toward the mm -hmm. beach, and I doing the deeper end because he's got to get his water legs. So let's go get okay. another one. Yeah, let's go get another one, man. Oh, there's a calling ring. Let's go see what he's got. Ringing about a 17, 18. Hey, that's a tungsten. Tungsten carbide. Yeah, tungsten carbide. That's a nice ring, man. Thank you. Right up here in the less than knee deep. Yeah, I chased it around a while, pushed it all over the place. That's a nice ring. It. Yes, sir. All right, let's keep looking loose a little bit more. Maybe we find some a few more in the shallow here. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Well, it's just telling. Hunter that uh, it's going to make one more sweep through here, waist deep, because that's usually where the rings are, and got a 78, and sure enough, it's, uh, I think it's going to be copper, uh, maybe silver plated copper. It's ringing up a high tone of 78, but there's no markings in it. All right, my last pass, so go slow, see what we can come up with. All right, we made it down to our second lake, and as you can see, there's not much water here at all uh, but we're going to be detecting the sand and seeing what we can get but I'm de detecting what little water I can do and check this out I got a little heart two hearts and diamonds in it it's 14 karat gold I got my gold all right it's worth stopping here even though there's not a lot of water to detect but I did find this in the water so I'll take that all right got my gold for the day let's keep on going Yeah, check this out guys. I just got a 45, looked at it in the scoop, and uh, got a nice class ring. That's my best find of the day. That's my second ring here. And uh, we'll have to see if we can't get this one returned, because this is a, what year is this? 2015. Is that 2015? Yeah, maybe 2015. So, it, I don't think it's been here that long. It looks good. 
All right, let's keep going now. I need a silver ring. Let's see if we can get a silver one. Well, check this out. Hunter's down there on the water. We're doing the beach now. And I was getting a 79, thinking it was going to be like a memorial penny, copper penny. But it ends up being a silver, probably a CZ. That ought to clean up really nice, though. It's got markings on the inside. It's going to be like a silver, silver ring. So this is where the water level would be. You can see the rocks. This is where the water should be. But it's just so low this year. And so, hey, I'll take that. That's two rings out of here. Is that two or three? Three rings so far for me. All right, let's keep looking. Well, we moved on to a new location, and uh, my second target was this ring right here. Too bad it's not real. It's going to be a gold-plated junker. But man, if that was a real gold ring, that was a huge diamond. That would have been a nice, nice ring. But I'll take it. I'll take it. We don't have much room here either. They're letting this water down, we found out. And the water's about eight foot. The lake's about eight foot low. But I'll take that. Pretty nice. All right, let's keep going. Well, we stopped at this next lake on the way home. Hunter's over there. And uh, we got till sunset, so we got about 30 minutes maybe left. I was getting a 29, so I decided to dig it anyway. Ended up being a tow ring. So that's something, isn't it? Uh, let's keep going. We don't have much time here before it gets dark. You can see it's sun is setting. Well, I made it in from the lake. I didn't shoot a video last night because it was like 9.30 before I got home. Oh, it's been a long week and a half it's taken to make this video. There's just not a lot out there. Had to do a lot of traveling, but I did some of my year-end traveling uh, to go to a couple of lakes at the very end of this video and find some good stuff. But I appreciate Bayou Digs having me down, and we finished up our water detecting bingo, and we're both one and one now. So we're going to do a relic uh, bingo later on when it gets a little cooler and see who the ultimate champion is going to be. But also, I would like, like to thank Hunter for... Uh, getting with me and I took him out on his first water hunt and he found his first two rings in water hunting so I think he's hooked in that uh, way of detecting as well but it was a long time getting this video put together and uh, but it, it's uh, it's winding up and this may be my last water detecting video maybe maybe I may do one more we'll have to wait and see uh, so be watching out for that uh, also I got everything laid out right here let me spin you around let me show you everything that I found well here's all my trash I always like to show my trash because those that are beginning and detecting, I want you to know that even those of us that have been digging for a lot of years, we still dig the trash in order to find the treasures. We dig aluminum cans and foil. There's your glasses and different things, hair bows, different miscellaneous stuff, your iron stuff. We have vape pens and fishing weights and fishing lures and hooks. We have the aluminum caps. We have bottle caps and plenty of pull tabs. There's your gold rings in there and also your uh, beaver tails. I got a nice toy tiger. I've got a quartz crystal. Got a LeBron James, uh, the chosen one. I don't think LeBron James is the chosen one. He never died for me. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 dollars and 75 cents. And quarters, I got one sack of Jawi a quart, uh, dollar. We got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 43 dimes, and 5, 10, 15, 29, 24 nickels. And then we got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 62 pennies. Quite a bit of money this time around. There's my earrings. I got a dog tag, camo dog tag, a nice little watch there, a keychain. Got a couple of bracelets. There's one, and there's two, and then here's a fake gold one. That's three. I got uh, some crosses this time. 
you got a blinged out cross and a very old rugged cross and then a look maybe Catholic cross it's got a picture of Jesus face on the side of the cross and then a necklace with grace on it how about that isn't that fitting that's what the cross is all about got some type of a necklace I don't know what that is if y'all know what that is comment please I got an an arrowhead necklace, a Playboy bunny necklace, a fox necklace, a star necklace. Got a lot of necklaces this time around. And got some rings. I got a, a, an old junker toe ring, a junker ring there, probably a gumball machine ring. A stainless steel spinner. We got a gold-plated junk ring here. I think that was a silver-plated junk ring or costume ring. Then that was an aluminum ring. And then I got a very nice class ring. I want to see if I can't get that returned. I've already returned one on this video. You saw that. A silver ring. That's a very pretty ring. That's going to clean up very pretty. I doubt that's a real diamond, so it's going to be a CZ the way it sparkles. And then we got a 14 karat gold ring with some diamond chips in it. So there you have it, folks. There's all the trash. And there's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can go out to the lake and put on your tailgate and do a wrap-up video. The greatest treasure is not even finding a LeBron James Chosen One bracelet. The greatest treasure is the Chosen One, my friends. Keep searching. Keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting. God bless.